Hello, I'm Atuba Judge, and I'm here with my beautiful wife, Gloria Judge. And, and you're really looking beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. You know, funny enough. Anyway, anyway, let's leave that. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Now we we are so glad to be bringing God's truth to you today, and now as we share this our story, we're, we're, we've been talking or sharing with you our ten years journey in marriage because we celebrated our ten year ten years uh, anniversary. ten year anniversary last month, and the Lord laid it in our heart that we we should bring out certain details that are. That are, that'll be very important. Now, if you are planning to get married, you're not married yet, and you are planning to get married, listen, you've got to sit down and let this be your, what do you call marriage class? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. And I thought of it this morning. I said, I said, look, we are not just telling you what is in the books. You know? mm -mm. We are telling you practical things practical. That, that we... And the best part of this is, you know, sometimes, especially when people talk about success, they speak about it from the end. Mm. And truly, never you know, yourself, God, God help me, the grace of God help mm. me. Mm. But we we are going back to share with you the decisions we made. Yes. The wisdom we applied. Yes. And deliberately now, mm. and this is where it has gotten us awesome. to. Now we've been receiving calls, people telling us, oh, I wish I had known this these things earlier. You know, yeah. earlier, this, that. And now we believe that there is, no matter where you are in your life right now, we believe that God can still help you. Yes. That's the truth. Today. It's the same principle. If mm -hmm. you will be diligent to receive his word yeah. now. Yes. Today is the day of salvation. Things can still change. Yes. It, all, all, all what we're telling you is how we receive the word of God, how we applied it, and how the the result, result that came it. from it. Praise God. Yes. Now, we are not going to forget to make demands for our daily, daily bread today. But you know, it's just the truth. We've got a lot and lot of things to share with you can we call for that daily bread join us in faith right now and declare yes. say father father i demand right now i demand right now my daily bread my daily bread it is coming to me now it's coming to me now in jesus name in jesus name amen. amen praise god hallelujah yes so last week we we got talking uh we got to the part where where we had fixed the date of the wedding. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. I said there was there was a story. Yes. About the the venue. The venue. Yes. And and things like that. Oh, wonderful, wonderful <laughs> stories. Now I had shared on Friday, I think, mm. that many years ago, I was driving past. I was I was in a vehicle. Mm. Now, I can't really remember. Sometimes I I, I it's like I was on a bike. Mm. You know, that was many many years, years ago. ago or in a taxi or something but most it looks like it was on a bike because okay. the the sight of the place was really clear to mm. me so um i think i was coming back from church because the, the, the it was on a sunday the church was around that otaku area and then the lord pointed out that field so that open field and said that's where you get married mm. and then it just stayed in my heart like okay i wasn't thinking marriage i wasn't praying for marriage i mean i just said that's where you get married so now what that meant was this that the word of god came, came to yes. me concerning the venue of your wedding my wedding yes so that just stayed in my heart. Now, when it was time, now we've gone through all that process. We've talked about the the doctor's report and, mm. and all that. But we began to now, okay, yes, we've accepted we're getting married. Where we're we going to get married. And then the word of God, I, I was reminded of what God said, said to me. Yes. That this is the place God said, 
we're gonna get married. I said, okay. So, first of all, I had to convince my dad. Mm -hmm. And we had to convince our parents that yes. you guys have to come, come over yeah. to Abuja. Now, of course, we did the traditional wedding yeah. Yeah. And, and all that. And then they had to secure that the place. Venue. So I, I went to make findings mm. to secure that place. Now, I remember God had told me that that's where you get married. Now, in now he didn't tell me when I was going to get married mm. at that time. But then when we had agreed, and I began to pray and ask the Lord, okay, Lord, when should we fix this wedding? Mm. And then the Lord spoke to me and said, January 26th. Now, when we say these things, sometimes people are like, ah, is God that specific? He is. Now, it, it, it matters how you work with God. Yeah. Now, I work with God in integrity. I'll explain what I mean by that. If God is involved in a thing, then let it let us be clear. We all have sense. Mm -hmm. We cannot be ambiguous or we cannot be vague in our minds, you know, that any any high. No, I'm the kind of person that if God wants to do a thing, then we we, we discuss it. We yes. have to know when, how, how. where. Mm -hmm. You know. So I began to pray and then God spoke to me and said the 26th of January. January. Now I wasn't looking at the calendar to look at the dates to say oh I think this would be a good date. I had that in my spirit 26th of January mm. and I remember thinking oh, why not 25th because since 5th was, was my birthday. birthday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know so and then the Lord said something to me that day he said, on the day of your wedding, mm. there's going to be a, a full, full moon. Yeah. I heard the Lord say that. You know, so now I didn't know the significance of, of that. Of that. Mm. You know, so, so I shared that with you. Yeah. And now we already know the place. Then we have the date. So now that we have the date, we have to secure the, the venue. Date, yes. And then I went to make findings concerned because it's, it's, it's a park that's owned by the government, operated by Julius Beggar um, Construction Company. So I went there, made inquiry. They said, Oh, you need to go take permission from the government. And I said, Okay. So I went to the government office and I met this wonderful lady. And, like, hey, we want to book this place. And then she went, checked, and said, Oh, it's booked already i said booked <laughs> like, how can it be booked <laughs> god told me mm -hmm. that that's where we're going to be using and he mm -hmm. gave me the date mm -hmm. so now okay so what do we do i like sorry who booked it <laughs> incidentally she now said that someone booked that place to use on the 25th and you know, now when you hear things like every thought will go through your mind, mm -hmm. even doubts for what you have heard. Yeah. Now I began to say, wait, to, are you sure it's not 25th? That the Lord, that the said. Lord was saying mm -hmm. to me. And maybe I should have, should have come earlier mm -hmm. to because from when God told us this date, it took a while before we now like, okay, no, let's go get the venue and mm -hmm. things like mm -hmm. that. And then I now like, how? Okay, if the person is using it on the 25th. Then Can't you just free. give us yes, to is it the next day? Yes. No, they said no. Policy, the policy of the place is that they, they don't give two separate events in 24 hours. hours. There's got to be this 48 hours space, space yeah. to clean up and to do all now. So, oh dear. Is there nothing that can be done? There's nothing that can be done. I said, ah. I went back. I said, but Lord, you told you said, me. Yeah this place mm. and you gave me this date so mm. what's going on mm. now what do you do at that point start looking for other options no because now now the way we operate with god is if 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 we're not working according to what we have heard mm. then it means we are walking in darkness yes and you don't want to you don't want to walk in darkness where mm -mm. your marriage is concerned mm -mm. so hmm. i took the lady's phone number from the office I went back to Julius Berger. I'm like, look, sir. And I met the man there. I said, this is what they told me from there. But look, we can make this arrangement between us. The man said, no. 
now of course that's that's an international company so they have the international standards that they keep i said look i i tried to convince you say sorry there's nothing that can, can be, be done, done from here mm. they are the owners of the place we just manage it so mm. if they tell us give it out give it we'll give it out uh -huh. so i called this lady back like she said there's nothing so i went you know i'll pray i'll say lord what do we do i'll pray i'll pray and then sometimes i'll just have this conviction in my spirit call her again <laughs> you know? so i'll call the lady now this thing took weeks more, more than a month i'll call her again and she'll tell me sorry sir there's nothing i can do that can be done it's mm. i mean there's at some point, I said, okay, why don't you, if you can give me the contact of the person that is using it on Friday, I was ready to go find the person and say, look, let's make a deal. You know, you're using the place on Friday, just apply and extend your, because they can give the event, you can to give the person. same person for a two days event. Yeah. So you extend it. So we're going to use your, your, your slots, your, your decoration mm -hmm. things. And, I mean, because at we, that point, nothing mattered to us but just to get married. <laughs> <laughs> and to use that place. And to use that place, yes. That was, that's all that mattered to us. So we, we're not concerned about how beautiful the place is going to be. We're going to go stand that, on that ground. <laughs> See, I do. Now, 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 that's how serious it was then. So I was ready to make all those negotiations and, and, and things like that. But, but they wouldn't give me the person's call. Of course, I understand how it is if i'm mm. the one mm. and someone calls me out of the blast mm. i got your number from mm. Mm. and uh, i wouldn't i don't think i would like that mm. I, I mean i accept you're calling me to tell me something really good <laughs> praise god praise god so Hallelujah. now we kept at it kept at it kept at it i would wait after a week or there about i'll call again i said look are you sure something hasn't happened or well, now what was and i expecting in, in the midst of this we went ahead to print our ivs right yes we we, we had no we hadn't printed the ivs, IVs yeah. no we hadn't printed the okay. yes we did we printed ivs <laughs> i remember because the ivs came out yes now yeah, because we had we to share we had that. to tell now, people now because because we had believed that this this is the day god said we're getting married mm -hmm. i will get married on that day mm -hmm. in to in our minds if we move it a day from that day, it's like not getting married again. Yes, we couldn't even see another date. That was the thing. Like it <laughs> it's was... like not not getting married, yes. you know, yes. you know, again. Like if if we move it from that day, the marriage would just be one thing. We just mm. two people just got married. Mm. We, we we were too scared. Allow me to use that word to step, to step out, out of, of God's, God's will. will for our lives. Mm. Because when you obey God clearly like that, it's tied to a whole so, lot so of So many things. things. So, <laughs> yeah, we went ahead and printed I the did, IVs, yes. I remember. And because I like, actually, it's not even booked on the Yeah, we had to Saturday. tell our pastors. We yes, to, you know, we had to start making plans because time, yes. time was going. Yes. I, yes, I even remember that your church then. Yes. You know, um, they, you know, they have this six months uh, process process that you have to go through now, i already knew we're not going to get married in the church because yes. god have already shown where we're going to get married now we didn't even think okay so who's going to organize the wedding you know and all that because we're you know we're into ministry i was into ministry and god have shown me where i was getting married he didn't say reception mm. will take place there he just said that's where you're getting married and i know <laughs> marriage is not the reception the reception is just a celebration mm. so we kept at it and kept at it and one day after praying like that he just came to my spirit again call that lady now i felt like moses who was always going back to pharaoh <laughs> so but she wasn't pharaoh now praise god she wasn't um, that tough she was just doing her job yeah and I remember going to call in that morning and she said, do you have your application ready? I just called, you know, to just normal, how mm. far? She said, do you have your application ready? I said, yes. She said, can you bring it? After I'd said yes, <laughs> I, went, <laughs> I went straight to a cyber cafe. I'll never forget. Quickly typed an application. <laughs> 
went down, drove down to her place, to the office, and handed it over. She said, wait for me. And she took it in, got it stamped, got it approved, and she brought it back and said, look, it has been approved. approved. So you have the, the place. place. And then, but she said the, the letter of approval will be ready tomorrow because the person I supposed to sign. I said, look, I'm ready to wait here. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, 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 you can't wait because the person is not coming today, but uh, by tomorrow, by 10 a.m. tomorrow, you can come. And then I, I was there the next day, 10 a.m., got the approval. Because now you have to take the approval to Julius Berger mm -hmm. and they do their own process. Mm -hmm. And now, when I got the approval, I, I like, so what happened? And then she told me this story. She said, the person who was getting married on that Friday, Friday. is actually her friend. Okay. And they had called her months before then to say, look, book this place for us. We want to get married on that day. And being my friend, you know, but then they were not sure that their church was going to let them, them get married on the Friday. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> she booked the place for them. She didn't, they, they didn't apply, so they didn't have an approval. Mm. But because she's the one in charge, yeah. so she, she blocked that date for them. Okay. Now, anybody who came before, she would just tell them, look, it's, it's taken. It's, it's taken. Yeah. So, and then they go away mm. until I came. Mm. <laughs> and then my insistence, my insistence of always calling mm -hmm. and all that made her to start calling them yes to and, be sure and say come you this how far with your yes. wedding mm. have you gotten approval because mm. somebody has been on my case for these dates, for these dates. Yeah. and then now that began to make them go back and forth back and forth back and forth then one day they called her and said that look you know what Maybe you should give out the place because the church has said they will not let us get married on, a Friday. on that Friday. So, incidentally, it was the following morning you called. that I called. And that's what prayer does. Yeah. Prayer helps you keep to your timings. Mm. So, I called. And then we now wrote. We now got the official approval. approval because they cannot approve the same place twice for, mm. for different people. Mm. So, because there was no approval in the first place, mm. we now wrote, they now got, we now got the approval. Mm. And the funny thing about it is what, it was this. After we got the approval, about a week or so later, mm. she called me and said, guess what? I said, what? The church just approved those other people's <laughs> wedding for that Friday. I said, I told her, I said, you know what? You, God used you mm. to keep that place for, for us. us. Because see, we were walking by prophecy. Mm. Mm. Now, I don't know what those other people were walking by. Mm. But we were walking by prophecy. But mm. then the problem now, she told me that the problem now is we have received official approval. So mm. there's nothing she, even she, she can, do. can do about it. And so that's how that place was locked. So our, wed our IVs, we didn't have to go start thinking of. Now, because God said that, I got to find that this out, I think a few, less, less than a month to our wedding. Mm. You know, when I was speaking with um, Apostle of Ford, okay. now, I know he's he's into, um, he understands the, the things prophetics? about the moon and the okay. prophetic. So I, and I said to him, I said, there's something the Lord said to me that I'm trying to understand. Mm. That the Lord said on the day of our wedding, there's going to be a full moon. So I said, wow, really? I said, yes. Where is the date? I told him the date. Like, he went on his phone or something. And then he checked and said, you are right. I said, how did you know? <laughs> he said, there's, there's, I mean, these days you can check, you can tell, of course, we can check weather forecast. You can check. I didn't, I didn't know that by, as at that time. Mm. I didn't know that there was an app to check. I didn't even <laughs> understand the details. I just kept the word <laughs> in my heart. <laughs> I'll share my own how that happened. Anyway, he today. said, he said, he said, you're right. But that day, I said, whoa, okay. So now what does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> and, and yeah, this, what's this? because God didn't tell me anything. Mm. Now, to me, God was just trying to tell me that that date is important, yeah. and these are the activities that are going to surround the that day. day. You know, so now, of course, He explained some things to me about mm. that also. Mm. I'm like, okay, fine. So that was how we 
got the secured the venue according to the word of the lord and this was a process now you see i'm taking this time to explain this because many times like that god will speak to you about something specific mm. but everything physically it will be against is it. against it yes what do you do what do you do now we had no options we couldn't say you know what since this is not working let's choose somewhere we else. cannot choose until god say choose i'm giving you another, another place yes very important and we secured that so that was another victory <laughs> that happened even before yes. we got married so now yes. we secured the venue and i think that's the only thing we had secured every yes. other thing was on in our head <laughs> <laughs> oh my so goodness. How are we going to get my how are we going to buy we, we hadn't even gotten the wedding gown. Hmm. We hadn't That's even gotten <laughs> <laughs> testimonies everywhere. Oh so dear so Lord Jesus. Testimonies everywhere. <laughs> we knew we were getting married. Everywhere. We didn't know how, how we're, we're, going we're, to just get we're just following. We're just following the Lord mm -hmm. and, and and wow. Not that I had savings, not that he had savings. Then remember what no, the we, Lord we, said we, about our tithe? Yes, no, we, we actually had some money. Remember, mm. we had some mm. money mm. that we were like, okay, you know, we use this money to get a house. No, we that money, money was before the Lord told us to um, take our tithes to. Uh, no, no, before Bishon. then. Before then, you know, then the Lord now spoke and told us what to do, do with, with that, that money. money. Oh, in and my mind, that money doesn't even yes, exist so <laughs> anymore because the money wasn't there as at yeah, this so, time. So, you know? so before our eyes. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. I, I say, okay, Lord, I think I understand what you're up to. That money also was a seed yes. that was given. Yes. And then the Lord now spoke so for us yeah. to do something with it. And <coughs> what the Lord commanded us to do with that money, totally finished the money. Yeah. Yeah. So by the time we were done with that obedience, there was basically nothing left. Nothing. Not that I had, not that you had. But then the word of the Lord now came to you that we should bring all our tithes one together. one month to the wedding. Yes, we should bring all our tithes together. The Lord spoke together. to me and said, both of you get your tithes together and go and give it to. He told us who to give, give it, it to. to. Yes. Know, he told us to give it to our spiritual mom. Then he said, go and give it to her. So I said, okay. So I spoke to her. Because before this time, I already, that's how I tied. I tied mm. by the word of the, the Lord. Lord yeah. you know, but now we're coming together. I said, look, this is what the Lord said to mm. me. I've taught yeah. you that. Yes, you were doing I was that also doing own. that. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so, so I said, this is what the Lord has commanded. Mm. So if you're in agreement, bring whatever you have as tight. And I'll bring whatever I have, I had as tight. And then we put it together. I remember it was on the 25th of January. Now, mm -hmm. 25th of December, December, our wedding was 26th of January. So that was one, one month. month. I mean, what, we're planning wedding one month. We've not done anything. <laughs> we didn't have money to do anything one month. <laughs> so now that that's what we're waiting for. Cause now we, we've secured the vet. Everything God said, at least we've done the part that mm -hmm. we could do. Mm -hmm. And then, we we did that. We took our tithe together, and then mm. she she blessed, she blessed us. us. Yeah. Prayed over us. Mm. And then I'll, I'll never forget on the twenty seventh. That was on the fifth, mm. twenty sixth, twenty seventh. Wow, the doors opened. Mm -hmm. Money began to come. come in. Money began to come in. Someone called me. Oh, you're getting married. I said mm. yes. Ah, I'm sending you a car. Mm -hmm. A cow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Several other testimonies. Everything oh, drink. Yeah, everything water. Everything we'll talk about it was... We'll talk about it too. Now that's an interesting part. You don't want to miss. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Hallelujah. But you see, follow God's word. His word doesn't fail. Not at all. Never, ever fails. Mm -hmm. I feel we should pray for everyone who's hoping of God right now. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we pray for everyone watching us who has heard your voice concerning a thing. Amen. And right now, it looks as though nothing is working in that direction. Mm. Lord, today, we're using our testimony, Lord, that which you did for us in the securing of our venue mm. for our wedding. Mm. 
I ask right now, let a miracle take place in Amen. according to their expectation. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ, let it take place now. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. That which Amen. you have heard from the Lord will surely come to pass. Amen. In Amen. In Jesus' Amen. mighty name. We pray. Amen. 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 Our time is up for today. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye. Bye.